Today I wanted to talk a little bit about deer. And here at the orchard we definitely have a deer problem. You can see how all of these branches here are missing some leaves. Um, deer love fruit trees. They love to eat leaves and twigs and branches, especially in the winter. But even now in the summer we've got some damage here from the deer. And so I, there's a couple of things that we can do to deter deer. If they're hungry, they will eat whatever they want to eat and there's nothing you can really do about it. We do have a small fence around the, the orchard, but uh, unless it's 12 feet high, the deer will just hop over it like it's nothing. Fencing is definitely an option. What I've found to be more effective than a fence around the orchard is actually a fence around each tree because they won't jump into the tree over a small fence to get to the leaves. And so if you just build a fence about at the drip line of the tree out away so that they can't reach the, any of the branches or leaves, that's a pretty good deterrent. There are lots of products on the market that attack a, a deer's taste buds. Some of them have like cayenne pepper that you can spray on the tree. There's also products on the market that will trigger a deer's um, kind of flight or fear. You can put blood or dead animals or hang I've heard of people hanging a stake from their tree. There's products like lion hair or even people will use human hair around the tree to affect the deer's sense of smell and make them think that there's a predator around. Um, you can buy predator urine. But what I've found is all the products on the market can be effective short term but as soon as a deer realizes that there's no real threat, if you have the cayenne pepper on there, I think that they just get a taste for it after a while. All of those products are effective, but on a very short term. One way to make them more effective is just to rotate through several different products. Maybe one day you spray your tree with cayenne pepper, a week later you put some coyote urine, a week later you put some human hair around it. If you were really wanting to keep them away, you could try to just rotate through several different products. But like I said, I found that the most effective thing to do is just to put a circular fence around each tree right at the drip line, and that seems to do the trick.